Hi Anna, my name's Janet and I'm 60 and I have significant health conditions. At the beginning of this I needed to start a new drug which um, needed regular monitoring by blood test um, to check my levels to make sure I wasn't going to have kidney failure. Um, and my doctor wouldn't send me to the local hospital for the necessary blood test. So um, it was a worrying time. It was only after a while when I said to the surgery that I didn't mind going for a blood test that they sent me um, and my levels had dropped and um, I needed two more blood tests over the course of the next few weeks um, and luckily now those levels have righted themselves and um, I'm okay. But um, each time I've been to the hospital um, there's only been either one other person or no one there. And I go normally for blood tests at the hospital and there are about 40 people there and it takes an hour. So if you multiply that up, it's about 1,500 people at our local hospital normally monitor their bloods um, to monitor their health conditions. So I'm wondering where all these people are going for their blood tests. Um, you know, if you think about it, that's a lot of people. Uh, are they being neglected? You know, have some of them died? because they're not getting the necessary um, diagnostic tests. Um, it's all very worrying and, um, you know, we need some answers really. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah. So, um, you know, at the beginning I went out to clap for the NHS. I did it for three weeks, but, you know, after that I just felt that this was happening to me and probably happening to countless other people as well and I just found it really difficult to actually go and clap so I stopped doing it. Um, keep up the good work Anna, uh, God bless you and um, all the best.